What is up guys? I just came from my local bike shop where I picked up a bicycle computer that I bought. Um, in this video I was going to talk about why I got a bike computer, why I waited so long to buy, get a bike computer, and which bike computer I bought. But it's going to have to wait till after this train passes. So a few of the reasons I held off so long on getting a bike computer uh, one, I just didn't want to spend the money on a, another bike component. Um, and then also I felt like I'd be wasting a lot of the features since I don't really train. You know, I don't ride with a heart rate monitor and, you know, I don't have a power meter on any, any of my bikes. I also thought it'd be annoying to have another thing to move between bike to bike to bike since I have a lot of bikes. I really ride this rally for probably, I'd say, 80% of my rides now. So I could just get a second mount that I could use to float for the other 20% of the time where I may be riding my you know, vintage bikes or anything like that. So there are a few main reasons that I finally decided to get one. Um, one of the biggest ones would be navigation. You know, obviously your phone can handle navigation. The thing with me is like, I hate mounting a phone to my handlebars. One, I just don't like having something that big up there. And two, phones are really expensive now. So my iPhone, I think was about a thousand dollars. My bike computer was under $300. So the computer I ended up going with is the Wahoo Element Bolt, the version 2. I figured I should come back here to the studio, charge the thing up, and actually install it so we could finish the video while I'm not just talking in the hypothetical, but actually about some first impressions as well. So yeah, more and more on the way here, I was realizing that I am going to be someone who uses my bike computer in the same way you can use a phone. So it just comes down to what are the advantages of the computer. Um, as I was saying before, I just don't want my phone on my handlebars. Uh, if you ride gnarly stuff, that's not going to be as stable as the way that this is mounted in any of its mounting ways. Another thing is just taking the battery load off the phone. Right now my phone's still fairly new, so I don't run out of um, battery that fast, but I think we all know that becomes a problem over time. So yeah, I really feel like having those features though right on my bars is going to change the way I ride a lot. You know, being able to plan routes ahead of time. I really love using like the um, website Wanderer and riding roads I've never ridden before. So now I'll actually Actually plan routes before I leave even if I'm going somewhere I go off and to hit a couple of the streets around town I've never hit before um, on long trips you know we're doing nutmeg in October that's gonna be country roads up in Connecticut I would have had to try to stay with people who had mapping or be pulling out my phone all the time which I've already mentioned that I can't stand so yeah I think I'm gonna actually love it for the mapping ability and pre plan pre planning when it comes to the mapping also, the other reason, since I hated using my phone, I was always relying on my friends, and I hate doing that. It's a little unfair to always have um, Aaron and Ben having to know the route, and then me being able just to follow along however I want. Another feature I'm already loving is the live metrics. Um, there's so many times where I'm just wondering how fast are we going. I become a pretty good judge at it from always diving into my Strava data after, but it's nice to know actually how quick you're moving. And I don't even mean for like a racy type thing. Also when I'm just riding with my friends, when we're um, bike packing or cycle touring, I'm often, often curious what pace are we moving at exactly. Um, riding twice with the computer so far, I'm already loving having that. And obviously the same thing applies to knowing the distance we've gone and how many feet we've climbed. Sometimes I don't want that stuff. Sometimes I like to just be riding along not knowing, but you can just turn the screen to the maps or something different if you don't want to see all those metrics. But so far, that's the screen that I've been leaving up because I haven't done any mapping yet. Another thing I've been digging so far is the Strava Live segments. Um, a feature I'm not going to want on all the time, but the way the LEDs work to indicate how close you are to a PR or a KOM, and just seeing all those metrics, something I'm used to from using Zwift in the winter, but it's kind of fun. Like I said, it's something you're going to want to take it or leave it, you know, on a per ride basis. But last night going for a PR on a hill and like actually seeing how close I was, just something I've actually never done before. So I decided to mount mine on the stem instead of the typical out front position. On the rally it works perfect for me because bar space is already at a premium with my bell and then when I have my light on. Also I like to use my Swift uh, bags, my Zeitgeist and my Catalyst which open towards the front and then the computer would be in the way. Which leads me into why I also went with the Element Bolt over the Rome is I like its small size. Which, that's going to be a personal preference, but to me, I preferred something a little smaller. I've heard that the Bolt has a higher resolution screen and it almost evens out with the Rome. Uh, the Rome is supposed to be the better mapping computer, but for my needs, I wanted the smaller one. 
So yeah, it really does seem like when choosing one of the Wahoos, it's gonna come down to a sizing thing. I know some people said they prefer the bolt being a little snappier in some situations and the screen is a little higher resolution and USB-C charging. I don't know, I think people would be happy with either one. For me, the smaller form factor, as mentioned, is my choice. Um, but why Oahu over the other competing brands like Garmin and Pioneer? Well, I have nothing against Garmin. All my running watches were Garmin's, but I just follow a few people online who have used multiple computers and not even reviewers. They just seem to be happier with the connectivity of Wahoo. No first-hand experience, no dog in that race, just what I chose. Also, I have three friends and the friend that I ride with the most that use Wahoos. So if I needed, you know, help on anything and already on our first ride with it last night, you know, Large Marge is able to help me out, you know, getting it set up, figure out a couple things. That's the reason for my choice. Couple other things, uh, first impression. I really enjoy walking out the door, putting the bike computer on, you know, turn it on on my way out the door and then just press start. I always know it's running. One thing with my phone, I would always find myself pulling out like three times as I started to ride. Did I start Strava? Did I start Strava? Is Strava running? Uh, when I stop, if I wanna pause it, that kind of stuff is just always there. You always know it's going. Um, a negative thing I found is the auto pause is like on a hair trigger. Um, it seems like if I slow down for a stop sign or do a steep off-road climb, it's already saying auto pause and it's beeping. That kind of annoys me. Maybe I either just need to turn that beep off or maybe there's a way in the settings to adjust that. Uh, if you already know that answer, let me know. It's something I'm sure I'll be looking up down the road. Um, another thing, very minor inconvenience, but as a big Strava user and I like the social aspect of Strava, when I finish a ride on my phone, you know, I'm uploading the photos right from the camera roll, I'm giving it a title, I'm adding a description. I like to remember what my rides were all about. That's one thing that, you know, there is an extra step involved, you know, the companion app for the Wahoo does upload the ride and does sync to Strava, but then you do still need to go open Strava, edit the ride and do all those things. Not huge, but something that I noticed. I'm sure something that'll just become second nature, just like riding on Zwift. I do the same thing, but I guess maybe worth noting. So yeah, just a quick um, first impressions video, why I made the choice I made, the Wahoo Element Bolt uh, version 2. For me what it really comes down to is I was willing to spend $300 because I hate using my phone when I'm riding my bike. It just kind of ruins the experience for me. Just having this information on my handlebars is what I wanted. Um, I'm sure I'll make a follow-up video down the road you know, saying how it's going and how much I like it and maybe some of the quirks if I have any problems. I already know I need to change a couple of the settings, but you know, all that stuff comes with time. And I will see you in the next one.